Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Arteza professional quality 12 drawing pencils listed as expert. Let's check it out. Let's get a close look at this package here. It's a metal tin case, which I happen to like. It's a whole lot better than getting your pencils in plastic and cardboard. You rip them up, then you have pencils, you got no place to put them. I love them when they come in these nice cases. And this is a nice case. You can see here that it's showing the shades that you're to expect from the pencils in there. And it lists them here from 4H to 6B. Take a look real close. Arteza professional quality from 6B to 4H medium degrees. 12 drawing pencils expert. So we're going to have to expect really high quality because they use the word expert. And then there's your shades. And then turn it over real carefully here because I don't want to shake things up too much. But there's your gradient scale again. And then you can see here it says Arteza drawing pencils are composed of high quality graphite that enables both broad strokes and precise lines and are encased in lightweight and durable base wood. Or is it bass wood? Base or bass? Your choice. Having a strong core allows for a wonderful coverage and minimizes the amount of broken points. These professional grade pencils retain the surface of the paper without scratching and are easily removed with an eraser or putty rubber. Ideal for photorealistic drawings, illustrations, and sketches. Arteza drawing pencils are your bridge between an idea and a completed masterpiece. Well, since I am, just so happen to be into photorealism. By the way, check out my latest drawing. Alright, just finished it. So that we should be able to give this a good test but before that I want to give a call out to Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. all right nice job on that drawing there Ed okay so let's get right into opening this puppy here well check those out there they are the expert pencils. Okay, now I'm going to give you my immediate pros and cons by telling you one of the things that I have an issue with some drawing pencils is that they don't put the grade on more than two sides of the pencils. When you look here in this case and you're looking for your pencil, here's what I see. I see a 6B, a 4B, an H, and a 3H, and then I don't know what the others are. So I have to sit here and pull them out and turn them around until I can see what they are. On two or more sides would be nice, but there you go. There's all the grades. Okay, so now I've already harped on this. Hopefully we're going to have some positive things to say. Let's get right into it. Take a close look at one of the pencils here. And we can see here, get the glare out. Here's a 4H. It has this nice silver paint job. It's really clean on a matted black paint job. Maybe just on satin or uh, uh, I don't think it quite makes a semi-gloss. Though it does have a little shine to it, not much. Uh, it, it does seem to be more of a, of a satin black finish has the silver this is really neat I like the fact that this has got this wider printed area here like an arrow tail which is kinda cool and then it goes to the point which would be the arrow tip so I think that is really cool and you can see it's already pre-sharpened the wood appears to be a nice quality it is very lightweight no doubt about it 
and I can see in the very tip here they've imprinted which is unique I don't see that a lot so if you happen to have your pencils you know put in some kind of foam block or something so that you can see the just the tip here that's kind of neat so you'll be able to see which one you are pulling out all right now the next thing of course to do and, and by the way there, it's printed only on one side as you can see which which I'm not a fan of so it only has one side other manufacturers that I really like like Stadler and and the uh, Mitsubishi and others have, have them on two or more places so that no matter where it is on the table like this you know what you're picking up so that would be cool alright so let's give these a try on paper and starting with this 4H and I'm going to use them in their pre sharpened condition I'm not going to resharpen them and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use them in this condition they've got a good enough point and I'm going to start laying it down and one of the things it said on the back of this can is that there should be no rough spots that means those little clay things and you would normally find that in the harder pencils the ones with the H on it so let's just see how smooth these are this is the 4H okay so it does go on just fine it is a hard pencil so it's not going to come go on very dark and that's what you want you don't want it to go on dark and I always hold my drawing pencils in the very back so that um, they don't dig into the paper and you can easily erase it okay so that feels pretty good it's a 4H so it's not like riding a Cadillac of course there we go so that's a 4H I'm going to go ahead and just write that there 4H definitely a hard pencil there's no doubt about it, it felt hard and here's the 3H you shouldn't see a big drastic difference in my opinion you you can just get rid of 3H pencils from your pencil case or use them to replace your 4H when you use them up because it I don't know what the point of a 3H is I mean, you can go from a 4H to a 2H and cover all the tones that you're ever going to want. So whatever the reasons are that they make them, I'll leave that up to you guys. Okay, so that there is a, that layer is a 3H. All right. See, I just already dropped it in the can here and it flipped over. Now I don't know what it is and I'm not going to bother changing it. Okay, now we got the 2H. So we'll bring the 2H, it got a different kind of point on there. And they're hard. I mean, they, they definitely feel like hard pencils. And they should be because they're H pencils. So put those down. So if you can see the difference between the 4H and a 2H, that's, having a 3H doesn't really make much sense to me. And if there's any artist out there that disagrees let me know in the description I mean the comment section not the description the comment section below and tell us why you think it's important to have a 3H because between a 2H and a 4H you can easily create that 3H tone and uh, it just seems like it's just an extra pencil doesn't, doesn't make any sense here Okay, and kind of the same thing goes from a 2H to an H. It's kind of another redundant, you know, use them as backup pencils or whatever. Okay, now that's, that's going on really hard for an H pencil. Um, and it's going on lighter, as you can see here. Um, let's make sure that says H, okay. And... it's it's not going on that smooth for an H pencil okay so I'm I'm disappointed here and look I'm just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing it here in this area right there 
way more than I did the other ones. Okay, I'm going to bring this up close so you can see. Take a look. The H is not as dark as the 2H. Matter of fact, not only is it not as dark, it's lighter than the 2H. Um, that is that is disappointing. It should be darker than a 2H. So we do have a quality control problem with this one that I've got here. And that's unfortunate. And it just seems to happen a lot of times. I, I'm getting sets now that that are just, they're not, there's a pencil or two that are just out of order or mismarked. And I find that to be an issue. But I never had that as a problem with the Stadler or the Mitsubishi or some of the real high quality ones. And I'm really, really hoping this one would have pass that test but unfortunately it, it fails that test here so um, here we have the F pencil okay now the F pencil immediately is darker okay that's darker that's good definitely darker so that's that's a good thing next thing we got going here is the H B so let's put that down H B feels smooth too so that's good so H B okay now let's go to the next pencil here let's see after the H B it looks like we're gonna go to the B pencil see how that goes on so so far we just have one pencil here that seems to be a little bit flaky. Let's see how that B pencil goes on. Okay, that goes on pretty good. The 2B pencil. To be or not to be. Yeah, we've heard that pun one too many times. 3B. Three B. Feel soft. Four B. That's a 4B. And I'm going to have to go down here for the 5B. So take a look at those. Now you can see here that we have a nice little progression here, except for right there. That H pencil, I'm going to pull that H pencil out again. Yeah, there's something wrong with that H pencil. All right, so here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to sharpen these just to kind of take the crust off, you might say. Well, since that sharpener is charging up, 
I'm going to go ahead and use my Coom Masterpiece. And we'll start with the 4H. Nice long point. And then we'll put it in number two to give it a point. Oops. my triple my triple threat thing here okay so there's the one that does the length gosh that pencil look at oh gosh that's terrible look, look at this look at this wood look at that wood just awful it just got chewed up Oh man, that that was already broken in there too. Okay, try again. It's like rotten wood <laughs> the way that thing uh Okay, that's not working too good. Try here. Oh man. That is getting chewed up. Look, it's it's just chewing it. The sharpener is chewing this pencil up, and I can't tell if it's the sharpener. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something here with a <coughs> try with a different pencil. See if it's just a rotten pencil. Okay, here we're gonna try this one. Let me break this tip. There we go. Well, this feels better. Okay, so that one did well. And then... I'm going to give it a sharpen. And there's a point. Okay. Very good. Um, apparently this has... This is terrible quality right here. This, this wood... It's just, and this is my F pencil, and it's acting all defective. Change the sharpener on it again. Ah, boy. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't matter what sharpener I use, this pencil is, something's wrong with it. Something's really wrong with it. It's it's like soggy wood. It feels rotted. Uh, so we have a an F an H pencil that isn't really an H pencil, which we're going to compare here in a second with another set. But then we got look at that. Just the wood here is like it's rot. It just keeps eating it up. It's just coming apart. This is the F pencil. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sharpen that one anymore. That's okay. This is becoming pretty disappointing for this pencil set. Um, I think you guys know where I'm heading with this. Now, to be fair, sometimes you just get a bad pencil, maybe two. But uh, I did contact the folks at Arteza and told them, said, "Hey." Um, I leave it up to you if you want to send a different set because this set has got issues and I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna to have to tell the viewers exactly you know how the pencils acted so if you send a different set and the other set turns out to be really good then it, we just know that it's a fluke but unfortunately they didn't seem to want to respond to that 
So I, I have to report with what they sent me originally, and that's that's this pencil set. Let me uh, back up here so you get more in there. Okay, so this is the B pencil. Oh, gosh, that's terrible. So it's not the sharpeners themselves. The sharpeners are working fine on the other pencils, but they seem to have had a problem with that with that uh, HB pencil. Okay, so that one sharpened okay. Now I'm going to give it a point. And there's the point. Okay. All right. So that one worked out all right. Okay, let's see what else I got here. I got a okay. key. Here's the 2B pencil. So that wood there is getting chewed up too. See that? that? That's just terrible. Let's just get it in here and see if we can get a point on it. Okay, so I'm right now I'm not too impressed with the wood that's being used for these pencils. It's oh gosh. That's this wood's just too too soft. Too too soft. It's just getting chewed up. It's getting chewed up. They they claim it's a light, it just broke. Claimed to be a light wood, uh, lightweight bass, or base, bass, wood. Um, and I think that that's not working out, in my opinion. Better go with a heavier weight pencil if you're going to have problems like this. All right, there we go. Okay, and that just broke in there too, didn't it? Yep. Well, he's just messing up my sharpeners. That's what this thing is doing. Broke again. Broke again. It's got stuck and broke again. And this happens a lot when your cores, your lead cores are not well centered. So if they've got a warp to them, they get caught in the edge, the very end of the sharpener, uh, the blade, this little hole part right here and then they break and so let me just try this single long point sharpener here okay keep going my pencils are getting really really short here and it broke again okay so it's breaking in every sharpener that's the the 4b pencil all right folks um i'm gonna stop right there you have so many pencils in one set that have an issue the wood quality the the um the lead is breaking off let me get my h here uh, you don't want to be dropping your pencils Tell you that. All right, let me sharpen this. Okay, let me get the HDR Tiza H pencil here. Okay, this is the one that's the shade is lighter than the 2H and it should be darker. So let me just go ahead and lay that H down. It's rock hard. Now it's got a sharp point to it. Okay, so we're going to call it Arteza H. Now here is the Mitsubishi Hayuni Hi H. Night and day. Night and day, night and day, smooth, not feeling rock hard, H, beautiful, Mitsubishi, H, and you can see for yourself the difference.
right there. There's the Mitsubishi. Nice, smooth, even, and darker tone. The Arteza was hard like a rock. And as you already saw here, it's lighter than their 2H pencil. And um, I really wish that it... Uh, I really wish that it would have pulled through because it would have been nice to have another professional set of pencils to go along with my Mitsubishi and my Stadler Mars Lumograph. But um, you know what? That's what these reviews are for. It's to show you the good products, the so-so products, and the not-so-good. While, while they have other products that are good, um, right now I think these need to go back to the drawing board. And if they ever decide to send me another pencil set um, to try out I'll be more than happy to try it out and then if it passes and it works then I will be happy to pull this video off in replacement but for right now since this is all they have given me to review I have to tell you that um, it, it just doesn't cut the mustard Okay, well, I hope you appreciate this review. If so, please give me a like, subscribe down below if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, look at my hands. Thanks for watching.